Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and in this video, I am going to show you how you can easily root your U Euphoria phone. One important thing is that make sure you have already installed the drivers for your phone in the PC and also make sure that you have a complete backup of your phone because while unlocking the bootloader, your device will be completely wiped. So that means that all your contacts and apps and everything in the internal storage of the phone will be gone. So there is no workaround. You have to compulsorily unlock the bootloader, which means your internal storage data will be gone. You can use apps such as Super Backup to backup all your contacts, SMS and apps. So anyway, let's get started. So firstly, you need to download these three files. I leave a download link in the description area below this video. So once you download them, you need to copy this super su.zip file to your internal storage of your phone. I have already done that. So now once that is done, Simply extract the zip file that says adb fastboot. Now these are the files that will be in that folder. Now copy this recovery.image to that folder. Now press shift key and right click and select open command window here. Now you need to do a few things on your phone. On your phone, simply open settings. In settings, scroll all the way to the bottom and select about phone and scroll down and click build number at least seven times. Now the developer options will be enabled. Go back. Over here, select developer options. Now you need to enable USB debugging or Android debugging here. Press OK. And now you can simply connect the phone to your PC. Guys, when you connect your phone to the PC, you will see a confirmation box on your phone. Just press OK. On your PC, in the command prompt, you need to enter the following commands. So firstly, you need to enter ADB devices. It will just check if your phone is connected to your PC and detected by the PC. Now as you can see, it has detected. Now enter the second command adb reboot bootloader now this command will put your device into the fast boot mode you can see how the device looks in the image now the third command will show you if any device in fast boot mode is connected to this pc or not as you can see the device is detected in fast boot mode and when you press this and when you enter the fourth command it will simply unlock the device it will simply unlock the bootloader on the device and simply puts it in the fast boot mode. Now you need to reboot the device by entering the fifth command that is fast boot reboot. You can find all these commands in the description area. So once it reboots, all your inter all your data will be wiped. I am pretty sure that all the apps will be removed and the screenshots, images and music files must be there. So I am not pretty sure but make sure that you take a backup of everything. Now once the device boots in, you need to simply configure the device and then enable developer options and enable USB debugging and then connect to the PC once again. Now once you are connected it, you need to again enter the same commands. That is. ADB devices to check if the device is connected or not. ADB reboot bootloader to put the device in fast boot mode. Now the device is in fast boot mode. Now you need to enter the final command that is fast boot hyphen code boot recovery dot image. It will simply flash a temporary recovery image and your phone will boot into that recovery image. And once it is done, let's go to the device. On the device, you need to select apply update. and select choose an zip card from SD. And select the super su.zip file. Then it will simply flash the file and your device will be rooted. Guys, you might face a few errors. Like in this device, when you try to apply the zip file, you might get an error saying that the checksum is missing or something like this. So in this case, so in this case, you might not have booted into the recovery directly from the command prompt. So make sure that you enter the last command and enter into the recovery without restarting your phone. 
So if you do that properly, you won't see any error. And in the command prompt, if you are getting errors such as waiting for devices, it simply means that you don't have the drivers installed for your device in the PC. So you can check out my other video to solve that issue. I'll leave a link to that video in the description area. Now let me just show you the root checker app. So as you can see, now the device is rooted. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Please hit the like button to share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this.